scale a little bit for example 300 well that's a big slice <laughs> and yes that's good but you see back you see you already see that because it's overlaid and we should create a mask and for that I want create a little bit easier than masking them manually frame per frame so using the default creating a new comp rename that we name that comp to text one mask use effect keying uh, luma key and if you animate that threshold you see uh, it's keying out and that's what we want so we add at first our test mask text mask and um, want also making the track mate so very nice and now we have to track the following looks very good we can also animate that Let's check the view and that's looking good. Looking also good. Looking good. Looking good. Yes, very nice. And you see slice appearing behind that um, train. And uh, that's what we want. And it's also hiding so we can now also animate the opacity so it's 100 and we can here make it um, zero so that's all for example you can also see how the mask work and you see that's our mask and that's also selecting the background and in this case you see our text that's only way or an easy way to create that anyway um we can also using some effects like overlay or my overlay not but For example that and you can also using some effects very easy for example um, Gaussian blur for example just uh, some effects you can create and yes that's all we can also going some images forward And also adding some texts here, for example, I make a new text and we call it, I don't know, Flushy, for example. I only say Skilly U, a nice movie. And um, making them 3D. And we also want repositionate that, copy paste copy paste copy and that's okay we see that's fluchi and um repositionate repositionate and a little bit scaling up for example 200 really nice and also we can using 
for example overlay now overlay really hmm. duplicating very nice two flutes nice overlaying so let's check if that works also without an um, mask for example and it looks like so we don't need mask here something because we don't need some and uh, yes that's looking really good our cam is moving and and it's away very good so we only need to animate that transparency or opacity so in this case it's zero zero and here it's one hundred and one hundred and also here it's one hundred one hundred and also 100 so and before it's of course zero zero so that's all and um, you see it's very easy how to import the cam and creating some interesting effects that's for example only one way how you can adding some textures for example um, as um, player bar so we have an 3d player bar Maybe a good idea, but you can also adding a lot of particles, a lot of rain animations and something more. Just be creative. So that's all I want to show you and um, be happy.